everyone, and thank you for joining me for another recap. This time, we are recapping a battle between two well-known clans, Crunch Time versus Valor Mongulis. This was a great battle that saw 30 total 10 vs 10s from both sides. I'm putting the stats on the screen there for you. As you see, the breakdown was 3, 8, 24, 5, with Crunch Time posting 17 10 vs 10s and 5 11 vs 11s. It was a close one for sure, but Crunch Time was able to walk away with the win. So let's get right to the replays. Alright, and starting out here we have VIP Pro coming at this base with a Queen Charged Lunian, otherwise known as a TDH to some. Starting out the Queen there at 3, and is going to walk her down towards 5. Did a good job of letting herself funnel down towards that Town Hall. Here comes the Wiz and BK there, along with a few wall breakers in to start opening up her entry. Gets the wall breakers down and gets the queen's entry wide open there. BK still doing his thing. Just got a few more wall breakers down. Still has four left. Just got the enemy queen down with the raged queen. Here comes the CC, poison down. Queen is still raged, gets the CC taken care of, no problem. Just pops ability and then gets the last three wall breakers in there to get that compartment open really, really nicely. Another rage down, keeps her going. She comes in and is able to clear a large portion of that base, including two whiz towers as you see and all nearby defenses. Here comes Lalo from three there coming around counterclockwise. A few hastes in and Queen is still going strong and with the value she got he has two loons left that literally didn't need to be dropped. Look at that. Easily took that base out. Swags the rage. Very nice job VIP Pro. Next up is Strike Band coming at this base with a CB Lalo. It's going to start with a Golem here on the mortar at 2.30 there. With a few whiz behind to help clear the trash. Got the minion there at 12. And it's just going to clear all that trash. Aiming to enter right here at the AD cannon compartment. Here's Golem against the wall. Here comes the wall break. Very clean wall break right there. Heroes in, bowlers in, beautiful entry, nothing walks, here comes the CC, gets the poison down, here comes the jump, and is going to rage his kill squad, and just get literally everything in that area. Look at all the bowler skips, Queen's doing her thing, just gets all that down, both sweepers, two ADs, all nearby defenses, looks to be two whiz towers. Here comes the Lalo from about two, counterclockwise, haste on entry, another haste there to keep his loons going, and just look how many loons he has grouped up. He's going to lose a few there, nope, didn't even lose with that whiz tower, I'm not even sure he lost any loons on that one. Very, very nice hit there, strike ban. Now we get to the 10 vs 10s, guys. First up we have the Tron coming at this base with a Queen Charge Minor attack. This was a very, very nice hit. I enjoyed it very much. Start there with Queen at 12 on the Town Hall. A few minions here on the sides, on the gold collectors to help funnel her in. The entry point will be right there at 12 on the corner. Gets the wall break down. And she's going to funnel herself right in there. And after that, going to go right for the double layer break along with the rage down. Gets the enemy CC down, here comes a partial CC pull, a Archer and Wiz, Queen's still doing fine, and here comes the Hound, gets the nearby defense that was locked on her down, so nothing is touching her right now, sends another Wiz in to help in, help out with the Hound there, and here come the Miners from about 9 to 10 o'clock, as you see the BK is with them, the Siege is coming from 7 o'clock down there with a group of max miners in there as well siege is tanking and just look at that it's gonna have a heal right there on the double whist tower spot a rage down as well to keep that entire miner pack raged up and just look at the value the queen couldn't be stopped because of that multi tower inferno so she's still doing her thing the miners are at five o'clock just so heavy right now and this, it just couldn't be stopped. It was just completely overwhelmed. Beautiful attack there, Tron. Next up, we have Table Flipped, is what I'll call him, coming at this base with standard Bowie. Starts with the flanks at 6, and a flank at 3 with the healer on it. Siege Entry with one golem. And just wanted to illustrate the change in Bowie now. 
with this first or the second jump not needed. You can just use a siege and use extra rage where needed. Look at this. Just completely steamrolls the base. Didn't lose either flank. And literally just so many bowlers in the middle. Lost BK right there. Doesn't matter though. Look at the flanks. They're still going strong. And Queen comes up. She's going to get her ability, get the last of the defenses down. Starts smacking a wall, but that's okay because look at that right flank still going strong there. And got it down. Very nice job. Table flipped. Next up is Ghost coming at this base with a CB style Goho. It's a wall record with Valks in the Siege here. It's a very interesting attack. Starts out with two baby dragons there, as you saw. Sends in the wall record now. This has the Valks in it. The wall record is just going in there to get the Valks everything else is good value so you see the queen she came up didn't lock on the hound was able to lock, knock that loon out and she came around and got a lot of value by walking around to the right and was able to even clear a bomb tower all the way down which i'm sure was not anticipated now from there hogs will come from six o'clock and you can just see beautiful pathing on the base coming from six to nine to twelve and is able to just blanket his 28 hogs there with four heels Sends in a few more hogs there, five, to make sure that expo goes down. And from there, it is just perfect, straightforward pathing. One more heal there, right at the Tesla and Bomb Tower location. Wow. Sorry, that was the second heal. Here comes the last heal at 12 there. And that's it. The Hound isn't doing anything to stop them. Wizard are coming up, still clearing the last of the trash. The Hound may be popped, but... With what's left, it doesn't matter. It's only CC and the BK altar. Let's see. <laughs> Hound just popped. Pups didn't do anything to anyone. Next up, we have Table Flipped with the second attack coming at this base with a Shattered Entry Golo Laloon. Now, starts out with a Golem and a few Wiz there at three. Here comes the Siege Machine there at five, along with a Baby Dragon behind and a Wiz. And it's just going to go for a nice little entry here, right on the multi-target Inferno Tower. Getting a few defenses cleared there. Five clock side of the funnel is looking very nice. CC was just pulled. Poison's down. Kill Squad is raged up. And is letting the Siege just do its thing. Taking out a few defenses over there. Has Valks in the Siege that just popped. The Valks are going to come out and they're going to be able to clear the... Wiz Tower right there. And here comes the Lalo from about 5 o'clock, going clockwise. Now, if you notice, there's two ground expos on this, so this is a very good choice for Lalo base. Really, not a lot of DPS that can stop him without those two expos locking on. And just paste him in there, had a good rage. Loons are under heal right now. And just very, very nice pathing there for his Lalo. Great hit there, table flipped. And clean up four times. Next up to see Justinian coming at this base with a Suilalo. And this is actually a no siege Suilalo. So hats off to you for not having a siege machine on this one. As you see, is setting up a nice funnel there on the right. He's going to go for two ADs with this Sui here. Queen will come up and at least get the one. The second one is a little bit protected by that, by that storage over there, that elixir storage. So what he's going to do here is get that one. Right after he pops ability there, two hogs come in there to tank. And if it wasn't for that spring trap there, would have had that AD down. I think there's one hit left on that AD. But it's okay. Here comes the Lalo started from 3 o'clock, starting out with the CC Loons. And just a super heavy Lalo there. Gets a haste in on entry for all of his Loons. Gets a rage down there in the middle to make sure that the Queen and the IT go down. Queen got Skelly there and raged. And just look how many Loons that is. Oh my goodness, so many spells for his Lalo and just so many balloons. What a great hit there. Very, very nice Sui Lalo there, just in. Surprising to see, no, no Siege Machine. Normally you expect that. Way to make it work without. And 
Next up, we have Kevin coming at this base with a Sui Lalo. Now, as you see, it's going to start out there with the heroes dropped at 10 o'clock and is just aiming for that line of defenses right there the air defense cannon archer tower and any other possible defenses because it will help a lalo from 12 to 3 as you see there just got those defenses down here comes the lalo from 12 with a hound and bomber blimp ahead gets a haste in there rage has his cc loons now as you see gets the rage down over there on the left side of the base and gets Wiz Tower and Inferno Tower over there had a heavy flank on the right side of the base going to with three haste and a heal and they just meet up there at the bottom. Beautiful lol in there Kevin. Love the use of the Bomber Blimp on entry. Next up we have Lil J coming at this base with a Shattered Entry Goho as you see has the goal in there started out at 7, a few Wiz behind, Giant and a few Wiz up there at 10 o'clock. Siege is in, CC has been pulled, Rage down on the kill squad, Poison down, Valks are out, kill squad easily handles Queen and gets all nearby defenses, BK actually broke down, broke the wall and went down to the south while the Queen went up towards the 10 o'clock side and was able to clear a few defenses on her own. Here come the Hogs from 6 o'clock as you see, was able to delay the first heal, get them in there, past the Whist Tower and here they come around at 3 o'clock still coming around and has more than enough heals to cover them all the way through actually ends up well we won't say swag but didn't really need that last heal at all love the hawk attack there little J. love the entry very nice job Next up on this, we have Angel765 coming at this base with a CB style Goho with Valks in the wall wrecker. It's going to start with some loons to trim the 3 o'clock AT so they can freely funnel that side with wizards. He's going to use a naked queen on the other side. Here comes a golem. And golem and siege come in there at 5 o'clock. The Valks, the BK, and the Bowlers are going to be what gets the Queen over there. And because everything over there is ground targeting, they're not going to deal with the Hound at all. Now here comes the Hogs from 6 o'clock, and it's just very, very nice pathing there coming around towards the 10 o'clock side of the base. It's almost a straight line, just going right through, and can just cover the entire path for them with those heals. Loving these hall kids, guys. Very, very nice job there. Hound is still chasing. Can't do anything to them. Didn't have to deal with it at all. Great, great hit there, Angel. Next up is going to be Zoom coming at this base with a, another Bowie with just healers on the flanks. Now, I really liked how he did this because of the entry. The flanks are going to be kept strong with those healers and. Here comes the entry over there at 10 o'clock. As you see, gets both of those mortars down and just sets up a perfect little entry for his for his kill squad, siege, and heroes. Everything gets put in there. Here's a hound CC. And Queen pops it, but so much in there that it's okay. It's just gonna rage the kill squad all the way through the base. Queen actually stays up surprisingly and is still doing her thing comes through in the break there over towards the 3 o'clock side and is going to clear what she can. Well, well placed freeze. Has just two defenses left, three defenses left there, but has a few witches there that are helping out. Oh, he actually had Valks in his wall wrecker. I missed that. Very, very nice. I like the Valks in there. That's that's a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool idea there. Gets that triple there. Well done by Zoom. And next up is going to be Jackadunga coming at this base with a CB style Gobo Lalo. Has a few wizards there at 7 and 6 o'clock to help pre funnel. Siege has been sent in along with a few giants ahead. Has a really nice entry set up there at 7. Got the CC pulled, poison down, freeze down on the IT to keep the siege going. And just look at that. 
that kill squad took care of that entire side of the base. The siege is still going. The queen is moving up behind it. And here comes the Lalo from about 3 o'clock. Siege just popped a max golem out there, so he has a max golem tanking ahead of his Lalo. And just look at this. Look how many looms are coming in there. Has a lot of air skellies on this base. I believe I saw three traps, three air skelly traps. But just powers through using those hastes and those rages. And this queen is actually still going. Just look at that. Had two hastes at the end, only needed to use one. And it's going to end up swagging one. Very good eye there by Jack Adonis seeing the potential siege pathing and getting it all the way to the other side of the base. Next up is going to be Franz coming at this base with a queen charge Lalo and no siege. I'm really love these no siege hit guys, really showcasing those skills. Has the BK there to get queen to walk downwards is going to set up to try and charge this IT. There goes the healers on the queen. Here comes the break. Very clean break. Giant health tank ahead. Queen's just drawing IT fire, but gets the freeze on her, along with the rage. And just gonna get her right in there. She still has ability. Just gonna move on along a little bit there. And as soon as she steps up, she is able to pop ability, get the queen, and the CC without another rage. Very well done there. Starts the Lalo here at four o'clock, going counterclockwise. And there's a haste on entry. Queen is still going strong. She's gonna come up and start clearing more stuff herself. Another haste on entry there at two o'clock with a rage here at about 12. There's a heal there near the Wiz Towers and there's no defenses left, basically. Look at all those looms. So many looms left for such few defenses. Very nice job there, friends. Next up is going to be Vitor Almeida 6 coming at this base with a Sui Lalo, with a Lalo in the Blimp Bomber. Now, this is a really nice Sui. You're gonna start with the Wiz there on the barracks, just to kind of get that side funneled. Here comes the BK and the Queen behind, and it's just gonna go for this line of defenses here. Right there at 5 o'clock, that whole line, gonna go for that. If you, as you see, the queen's taking out the AT, and as she pops ability, gets the AD down as well. Sets up very nice pathing. Here come the pre haste down. Bl Blimp Bomber is coming in along with a bunch of loons behind, and is able to get the queen taken out with a Rage and Skelly. Didn't have to worry about the CC at all, and just look how many loons are coming in there and the amount of spells he's using on them. Just completely overrunning this base with the amount of spells. Great Sui Lala there, Victor. Vitor. Coming at this now, we are coming with our 11 vs 11s, and this is Ryzen coming at this with a standard Bowie. And it's just going to start out with a Loon there to take out the Troll Tesla. Has a few Giants ahead. Siege behind, along with a few witches behind, line of bowlers, a few healers going in there to help just keep the, the kill squad up and going. Good Grand Warden ability there, and the way this base is shaped, the siege just completely opened it wide up. Only needed the one jump, honestly didn't even really need that. Flanks are still going strong, flank at the bottom still going strong, flank at the top stalled out a little bit but the queen went over there to help out and easily easily takes care of what's left i love the use of the balloons at the very end just to help distract a little more nice job there by rising next up is p90 coming at this base with a cb style lalo with valks in the wall wrecker as you see two baby dragons there started out the funnel at about 9 30 and, or 8 30 and 7 and starts out with siege in there heroes behind gets the freeze on the inferno tower just to make sure the siege makes it in there and both heroes walk but the raged valks are actually able to take out the queen and the entire cc by themselves uh left uh left one troop but that bk easily gets it here comes the lawless starting from six gonna be counterclockwise 
and it's just going to be a super heavy Lala there with a bunch of pre-haste to get them in there. Rage right over the middle to get all those high HP defenses down. And there's two ground expos, so there's really not too much targeting these loons. He's able to just get these down pretty comfortably. And look at the amount of troops left there at the end. Great hit there by P90. Next up is going to be P90 with a second hit coming here with a Sui Lalo. This is going to have loons in the Blimp Bomber. Now, the Sui is going to be started from 3 o'clock there. And it's going to get really, really nice value here. As you see, all you need to do is trim a few defenses there. And pathing is looking really good from 12 over to 10. Just almost a straight line right down that side of the base. pre haster down. Here comes a few loons, with, or a few hounds with a bunch of loons behind. There's the Blimp Bomber coming in there, putting in plenty of damage with max loons in there. And just gets a bunch of rages down. Perfectly timed Grand Warden ability keeps the, that loon pack from taking any damage at all. Has a heal and does not even need to use it. Swag spells left and right. Loving these Sui Lalo guys. Great job. Really, really nice hit by P90. And last up is going to be Fit Cho 306 coming at this with a CV style Gobo Ho, also with Valks in the Wall Wrecker. Noticing the Valks in the Walker, Wall Wrecker very popular. Has a Golem down ahead of the Siege, sending them in there. Had a Freeze on the Siege to keep it up. Here's the Grant Warden ability, keeping all that alive, along with the Poison on the CC and the Queen. The Siege still hasn't popped, there it goes just now, with Valks in it. And the kill squad is just putting in work. Here come the hogs coming from 3 to 2 o'clock. Just going to come around there from 3 towards 6. And has the Grand Warden join up with them, which boosts their HP. Nice heal there, right on the Whist Tower. Has another heal there. And that's about all she wrote for that base. Very, very nice job with that siege machine there. Good hit there, the show. Alrighty, guys, that's about it for this recap. Remember to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, and be sure to subscribe for more high level clash content. CWL placement matches start August 10th, so I will have lots more recaps in the coming weeks. Until next time, everyone, Beans Brigade out.